everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar Channel. Today is the second in a two-part series about the app that my public library uses to access digital books and audiobooks, the Libby app. So in my first video, I talked about the pros and cons of using the Libby app to check out uh, digital and audiobooks from the library. For me, the positives obviously far outweigh the negatives since I use this app all of the time. So now I'm gonna just show you a little bit around the app. My public library has a partnership with Overdrive, which is a distributor for electronic resources like um, eBooks and audiobooks. Their Libby app allows library patrons like me to check out these resources using their library credentials. So I'm gonna show you the iPhone version of Libby, but they also make versions for Android and for the iPad. So once you download Libby, you're gonna to need to sign in using your library card. It will take you through a series of intro screens to link your account using your library information. So you can copy your information from another device, you can search for your library, or you can have Libby guess your library based on your location. So once you have your account all linked up, it's gonna take you to your library's homepage, which in my case is Fairfax County County's library. So there are four different areas of the Libby app. The library section, which is where you are now, your shelf, which takes you to your holds and checked out items, this little Libby icon in the center, which takes you to what you're currently reading in the app, and the menu, which you can get to by hitting the Libby icon in the upper right-hand corner. So let's get started with the library. So this is gonna, where you're gonna find eBooks and audiobooks to check out. There are two ways to find books. You can search for a book title up here, or you can browse. So Libby presents you with some options. It gives you some links to new popular or available books, or it lets you browse by subject or topic. So up here you can enter your preferences that you wanna use for searching. You can specify format, books or audiobooks, language, audience, compatibility, I prefer Kindle books, availability, meaning you can limit your search to only books that are available to be checked out now, and how the search findings are sorted. So for example, if I go into Explore and I look for books under the mystery and thriller category, I can see that most of these books are not available to be checked out today. Instead, I would have to put a hold on them. So I can see that by hitting these three dots to the right of the book. I can put myself on the waiting list for this book by hitting place hold and then place hold again. So this screen now tells me that I have three of 10 books already checked out and four of 10 books on hold. So 10 is the maximum for each of those categories. When the book is available, Libby is gonna send me an email to notify me. If I wanna find a book to read right now, I can change my preferences to availability available now. Now it's only gonna bring up books that I can check out today. So in order to do that, I hit the three dots, then borrow, and then borrow again. So that is how you find a book or an audiobook and check it out or put a hold on it. Easy. The other thing you can do here is apply a tag. So go, go back into the three dots and this time hit tag. So you can pick one of these default tags which look like book list, thumbs up, and thumbs down, or you can make your own tag using text or emojis. Okay, so now let's go into your shelf. This area shows you your loans, your holds, and your tags. So loans are the books that you currently have checked out. It tells you how much time you have until the book is due, whether it's downloaded to the Libby app, and how many people are waiting for it. Your holds, um, holds show you the books that you have on hold, it gives you an approximate amount of time that you still need to wait, allows you to read a sample, and gives you a way to manage your hold. So in the screen, you can see when you place the hold, and then you can cancel or, or suspend the hold here. And finally, your tags are gonna show you any books that you've applied a tag to in the library section, which is a nice way to organize your books, to read, or to rate the ones that you have already read. Current book. So as I said before, you can choose whether to read your books within the Libby app or on a Kindle. So it appears that whatever choice you make is going to apply to all of the books that you have checked out. If you choose to read them within the Libby app, you can get to your book by hitting open in Libby. To get back to it, the books icon will appear down here and you can just hit that to start reading again. If you wanna read your books in a Kindle, hit open in Libby, then back, then change choice and choose um, Kindle instead. So now it's going to take you to an Amazon page to claim your library book and send it to your Kindle. And that will automatically appear in your Kindle's cloud. Audiobook. So with audiobooks, you don't really have a choice about where to listen to it. You have to listen to it from within the Libby app. You can open the audiobook and it will replace the current book down here. Also, you can choose to stream or download the audio files. While listening, you can change the speaking speed, set a sleep timer if you wanna pause for 30 minutes, apply a bookmark, and navigate either by chapter or by sliding this bar. 
Also, tapping in the center of the app gives you 15 second rewind and forward capabilities. Plus, you can swipe to quickly rewind and quickly fast forward. And finally, the settings menu gives you access to some Libby tips, your library cards and account, setting up Libby, and a support area. So setting up Libby gives you the ability to change what kinds of books you download automatically and whether you can do it only on Wi-Fi. Under settings, set up Libby, manage hold notices. You can change the email where hold notices are sent and determine whether books are automatically checked out for you. And that is it. So I use this app all of the time to check out digital books, put books on hold and listen to audiobooks. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.